Hi guys, this is Marco Robinson, number one best-selling author, award-winning entrepreneur, winner of the People's Choice, best real estate investor last year, winner of Tatler's Best Restaurants last year, and doing everything I can right now to help people to fund their startups. I'm starting a new company called The New Rich List, which is funding startups and mentoring startups, like Dragon's Den Shark Tank meets The Apprentice. It's pretty awesome, very exciting. But one of the things I do uh, a lot of the time is I study the economy and what's happening to the economy and how economic trends are created and how cycles are created and how that's affecting you in your own pocket in terms of what you can buy with your money, what you can invest in and if it's going to give you a great return or not. Now last night I did a webinar on the subject of Brexit because Brexit, as you know, has been in the news in the last three weeks because in the UK the last three weeks politically has been probably the most unbelievable time in politics has been in the last 50 years and now we have a new PM and now we have a new leader of the government and now we're out of Europe so the people around the world watching this ask me every day Marco what about Brexit everything's gone mad it's gone downhill our properties are losing money this is really bad news so what happens is this guys what this video today is about is giving you the truth about Brexit is giving you the myths and the facts of what it really means. And remember, with massive uncertainty, there is always massive opportunity. So what happened when Brexit basically happened was the pound devalued to a 35-year low against the dollar. And most major currencies, it came down because people were uncertain about the economy. Now, what that meant was it meant that people panicked and stopped buying things. It meant that people panicked and stopped investing in property. It means that, meant that people panicked and wondered what's going to happen next. Uh, even the PM, David Cameron, said there won't be a new PM until October because he resigned. Now, I predicted Brexit two years ago to my database. I also told them what to do and go long on the pound and go long on UK property. And I, again, again, I was proven right. And I've actually made major predictions for the last 10 years. Not because that I'm really good at doing this or I'm such a great person. It's because I've taken the time to research, study very hard and use a great team to actually kind of predict events before they actually happen. Now, I don't get it 100% right, but I do get pretty within 10 to 15% of the accurate answer. And what that meant was I told my uh, people two years ago Brexit would definitely happen. I told them to go long on the pound, buy the pound when it goes low. I told them to buy UK assets when it goes low. And the people that have done that are making money. In fact, last night's webinar, the people watching the webinar were so shocked by what I predicted, they actually bought more property with me because I showed them how to do it. And Brexit actually came through as a massive opportunity to really correct the asset price because now, again, the pound is going up. So the pound, as soon as uh, Theresa May was announced, which I knew would be way before October, the pound increased, got stronger, and the UK is fundamentally very strong economically. So, because the UK is very strong fundamentally, because it's the fifth largest economy in the world, because it takes in 80% of the immigrants in the EU, the population wanted to do something about it, to make it fairer for everybody else. So, what's happened is you've had a vote to leave, and what's happening now is all the pieces of the jigsaw are coming together. And the great news is this is a fantastic opportunity for all of you. But let's have a look at the facts about the EU first. The EU has not been audited for 20 years, guys, right? If you own a company that's not been audited for 20 years, you won't last 20 years because you'll be kicked out of the company because there's no company in the world that can actually go on in terms of compliance without being audited for that long. Even one year, you're in trouble. So. You've got an organization called the EU that was set up on idealistic values but turned into a corrupt, power-mongering, project fear organization that basically is like the FIFA on steroids. And what's happening right now is that Juncker, the head of the EU, and the people involved who basically get the most out of the EU in terms of financially are scaring everyone they can, the world economy, all the countries, because they don't want anybody else to leave the EU because people start doing that. It's like the domino effect. And I'm telling you right now, this is the beginning of the breakup of Europe. But that's not a bad thing because the day after the UK left Brexit, the German auto car makers contacted the UK auto uh, car makers, the German, sorry, contacted the UK uh, counterparts and said, listen, 
screw the EU, we can trade better directly and save millions. So the EU is trying to block all this, but essentially, guys, um, trade becomes easier. Uh, the EU are telling us that trade cannot be done for years, it takes years to get together. I'm a businessman, guys, and, and telling you right now, trade deals can take days, if not hours, to agree. So all this bullshit being thrown around by the EU is just basically to stop people leaving the EU because the UK has already done so. And already the UK is proving that now they've left the EU, they can survive on their own. In fact, they can prosper more because they don't have any shackles around them about paying ridiculous EU tariffs in business. All this income tax you have to pay in the UK, which is pretty much 70% of your salary in non-direct tax, and also creates more opportunities. Now, the fact are, there are only 1.9 million EU citizens in the UK. The, the EU or the government or the rest of the world would have you believe that there's 50 million people and everybody wants to move to Dublin. This is not true, guys, right? So there's only 1.9 million people out of 80 million in terms of population. So let's just put it all in perspective. What's happening is something that people want to take control back of the country because they don't, they're sick of other people deciding uh, their fate when they, they don't even know the UK, have never been there and don't know the culture. So it's also a great thing because it's creating more opportunities in terms of assets. And right now there's still a massive shortage of affordable houses in England, probably about five to eight million houses, affordable houses that basically people can't afford to buy a house in the UK. So this has corrected the price a little bit. And what I'm doing right now is buying more property right now, especially first time buyer homes. And I'm actually building affordable homes so people can get on the ladder. I'm helping people to do that as a developer. It's one of the things I do because I love to give back. It's one of the things I do. And you know, um, my mum left my dad when I was two because he was a gambler. I moved to 35 school before I was 10 years old. We slept on a park bench. You know, I've been through the rough times. But what I can tell you is, because I've been through dark times and rough times, what I can tell you is, things always get better after there is a crash or an upset into the market. So what you've got to do is not worry about this. What you've got to do is educate yourself to learn how to profit through this period and read the signs. People love me because I was able to tell them two years ago what would probably happen and the people that listen to me have made a lot of money. In fact, they've made probably 50% more than if they had not listened to me. So the truth about Brexit, guys, is simple. It's mostly a myth, it's project fear, and it's a way for you to try and stay in Europe or have a second referendum, which there may well be. But I can tell you, if there's probably a second referendum, the vote leave will only get stronger, not weaker. So. What does that mean for people doing business in Europe? What it means, well, we can't leave Europe for two years anyway. The referendum is not legal. The government could veto it, but Theresa May is not going to do that because she's, I think she's one of the best leaders we've ever had. And, you know, what's going to happen now is that trade deals have already been negotiated outside of the EU. And if you stay in the EU, it's like you're towing everyone with you that's got lots of debt. Greece is being bailed out now for the fourth time. It's like you keep giving money to people, but you can't manage it because they keep spending it and they keep losing it and you have to keep giving them more money and that's why the UK wants to come out of that. So this is Marco Robinson talking about Brexit. Please subscribe to me if you want to know any more and have a great day. Thank you.